Hi all. Today we will discuss about matter. What is matter? Matter is everything around you, from book, water, table, water bottles, even you and I are made of matter. But the vital question is how do you define matter? In science, matter is defined as everything that has weight and takes up space or has volume. You know about weight, it is something that is heavy. Volume is the amount of space something occupies. Different states of matter will fill volumes in different ways depending upon its size like small, big, little, longer. Matter are available in three different states. Called solid, liquid, gas. One of the important state of matter is solid. In a solid state the objects that keep their own shape and do not flow in a given temperature. Examples of solids are chairs, laptops, rocks, books, most metals etc. Ice is also a solid. But when it melts it become liquid. Liquids. They flow move around a little and fill up containers you put them in like a jug. But do you know about the weight of water? Water has weight if you carry a water bottle with you. And as you drink from the bottle it gets lighter and lighter. Is it very simple to understand about the weight of water? Another interesting state of matter that we cannot see but can feel the presence everywhere. It is the gas. How we see if it takes up space and has weight, we can prove that with a simple experiment at your home. For that take an empty glass and lower it vertically downward in a vessel filled with water. You will observe that the level of water inside the glass is less than the level of water outside. It is because the air within the glass is trapped and does not allow the water to rise up. It means air has occupied the space inside the glass. Now, when you tilt the glass aside, you will see air bubbles rushing out and it and replaced by water. Hence, proving that air occupies space. Now how will we identify the weight of the air? This also can be done through a simple experiment. Take two empty balloons and tie them to the ends of a stick. Then hang the stick on a string. Now you can see that it's perfectly balanced. Now blow up one of the balloons and tape it back to the stick. You will find the end of the air-filled balloon will bend downwards. Because of air giving it extra weight. Hence proving the fact that air is matter as it has volume. Hope you learned something new today. See you next time.